What's up gamers, in today's video, I'm going to be filling you in on everything you need to consider before pulling for Xian Yun. I'm going to be talking about her pulling value, if she's a good character, my thoughts, and so much more. So since I ate long intros, and I know you probably do too, let's get straight into the video. So first of all, we all know what she does at this point. She's an animal healer, she buffs plunges, and she, and she, well, she used to provide crowd control, but not anymore. But the question is, do you really need that? Because currently we have Jean, who is also an animal healer. Now, for some of us, Jean didn't come purposely. She was actually a jump scare. But you have the option to stick with your gene that actually does her job pretty well or get a side grade from her. Some might not even consider Xian Yun a side grade because if you're not planning on using her plunge attacking kits, then she's literally just a gene that some people would spend money on. She's also in a very sticky situation because she's running with the Dendro Archon Nahida who is a super good character and one that I and a gazillion other people would recommend you to get over Xian Yun any day of the week, month, and year because she's just that good. Nahida can be used in almost every single Dendro related team and she's also a super strong support and DPS. If you're interested in playing those teams, then Nahida is the one you should pick over Xian Yun. Also, if you want to know if Nahida is meta, check out this video. Anyway, there's been a lot of people talking about Jean and Xian Yun, but do you not find it sad that she's literally being compared to a standard banner character, and she might be losing? I don't know if it's just the Genshin community and simping for every single character, including birds, but someone has to say it. Xian Yun is really, really niche. But some good things about her kit is that she provides flat damage, she can hold VV as well as Thrilling Tails, but do note that when she's using Thrilling Tails, it's mainly just useful for Raiden Shogun teams and a Shao team. In this team, Raiden Shogun doesn't gain any attack buffs, and if Shan Yun holds Thrilling Tails, she can give Raiden an attack buff, which will provide her with a significant DPS increase. And I guess this is a scenario where she'd be better than Jean. In this Shao team, you're originally going to want to use Jean, but she's definitely going to get replaced by Shan Yun when she comes out. Another use case for Shan Yun is if you want to use her for exploring. I think she's pretty good for that, because you can use her in an exploration team like this, with Yellen, Kazuha, Wanderer, and Xian Yun. We don't know for sure how useful she will be when exploring, but she's a bird, so of course she's gonna be useful. Now let's talk about her healing. To be honest, her healing looks pretty good, but if we're comparing her to Jean, you'll find that Jean's instant healing is way more, meaning that you'll generate fanfare faster. But that's only the case if your entire team's HP is really low. In most cases, your team's HP doesn't fully get low, and because of this, I feel like even Xian Yun's instant healing is enough to heal them all to max. If it doesn't though, it's fine because she has healing over time, which heals the entire team. Now let's see if her buff is actually strong. Well, Xian Yun's buff is single target, and this might be something not a lot of people like, but if your main content in Genshin is the Spiral Abyss, then this isn't even bad. This is because in the Spiral Abyss, a lot of the enemies are just bosses. This means that you'll be maximizing Xian Yun's kits. Now, if there's an abyss that comes out where in most sides there are multiple enemies, you might as well just say bye to Xian Yun. But it's not just the fact that she buffs plunges, it's the fact that she enables them as well. Because she enables plunges, she allows forgotten characters like Diluc and Chong Yin to rise up again. This is because Diluc has a really high plunge damage multiplier. Look at his plunge multiplier compared to his other multipliers. It's a significant increase. And this is also the same for Chong Yin. And this is why I think she's going to make them really strong. We're all just saying this and it can be overlooked by a lot of people, simply because she isn't out yet. But once she comes out, we can truly see how big of a difference she brings to these characters. Another thing you need to consider is if you're going to enjoy plunging. Some people don't like plunging because it kind of knocks the enemies back a little. And even if it's not a huge amount, you still have to spend time running to them and plunging again. This just makes the character's gameplay feel a little off. Now, this video isn't meant to completely shame on Cloud Retainer, but if you actually think about it, do characters like Hu Tao, Raiden, Ryze, or Diluc even need Xian Yun? Because if you really, really think about it, Hu Tao's double Hydra team comp works perfectly fine without Xian Yun. Raiden's double Hydra team works perfectly fine without Xian Yun. Diluc's Vaporize teams work perfectly fine without Xian Yun. So this brings the question, why go to Max Pity for Xian Yun if you have already invested your materials into Jean. I would understand if you're playing Klee and you get Lenny as an upgrade, or if you're playing Razor and you get Sino as an upgrade, but if you're playing this team and swap out Jean for Xian Yun, does it provide you with a whole 80 pity worth of value? That's just there for you to consider before pulling for Xian Yun. Oh yeah, if you're enjoying the video, why not like, subscribe, and join my Discord down in the description or the comments below. I'm getting super close to a thousand subscribers and you can help me reach that goal with just one click. I'm also hosting a special giveaway when I reach a thousand subscribers and you can participate in it after joining my discord. Trust me, you'll enjoy it there and I recommend you join especially if you just want to talk about Genshin and have fun. Anyway, with that out of the way, let's talk about her overall pros and cons. Let's start off with the pros. The best thing about Xian Yun is the fact that she's a team-wide healer and because of Rina who drains the entire team's max HP, this 
this role is something that a lot of healers need to have in order to work with one of the best characters in the game. Her skill is great for exploration and if you need to reach high places then you can just use her E and jump in the air and that solves your problems. She also buffs plunge attacks and enables them as well which is very helpful for people whose kit revolves around plunge attacking like Xiao and Ga Ming's as well as people with a high plunge attack multiplier. For her cons I'm going to talk about the one thing that started the most doom posting. The fact that she doesn't have any crowd control in her kit. Even if it wasn't a lot of crowd control it was still something that was good to have. Instead of crowd control she now gives a crit rate increase which is still good but no one asked for it. You can make the argument that it's better than having crowd control because after plunging you're going to knock the enemies back and there was no need for her to do three whole jumps with the three million second long animation. But I just feel like crowd control would be a big plus one over Jean who has terrible grouping. Another con is that she doesn't provide much value to your account if you already have the original animal healer Sayu. No, not Sayu. I meant Jean. I don't know why I said Sayu. She might have rolled into the script. Get it? But I just wish that Xianyan had some other pizzazz or wow factor in her kit. If she did, that would really make her stand out from Jean. The last problem with her is that her buff is only single target. I genuinely don't understand why Hoyoverse did this, but let them cook. If her buff just applied to the on-field character, that would be fine, but single target just doesn't make sense. Especially when plunge attacks are mainly for AoE. But again, let me hold you cook. Now for the last section of the video, my overall thoughts. My thoughts on Jian Yun is that she's a well-designed character and her kit kind of fits her design. I don't think that she's a limited 5 star worth pulling, especially if you look at comparing going to 80 pity for Farina and going to 80 pity for Xian Yun. She seems to me like Jean but a bird with glasses and just isn't worth it. If you like her playstyle and design then go for her, I'm not stopping you. But please consider everything I said in this video. If you enjoyed the video, wanna help me out by liking, subscribing and joining my discord down below. Since I'm about to hit a thousand subscribers and when I do, I'm posting a special giveaway. It's also a place where you can hang out and talk about Genshin stuff and it's just fun overall. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.